Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be my updated bookshelf tour. So let's get right into it. All right, so here is kind of an overview of my shelves. I know you can't really see like all of them. I'll do like a sweeping shot in a second here. But yeah, I talked about this in my last bookshelf tour video, but this, let's see, this wooden bookshelf, my mom's boyfriend actually built for me out of oak. So that's pretty cool that he like literally built it. Um, and then these three shelves are just the Billy bookshelves from Ikea and I love them. I had different bookshelves before but these ones they're my favorite. They're like a staple for a reason. But yeah I'll show you like a sweeping shot now. So okay so I have my TBR cart here. I have this little bookshelf here and then I've got my three Billy bookshelves. So let's go get a little bit more of a close-up. All right, so here is my TBR cart. Those are all of the unread books that I own. Um, so that's my physical TBR right now. And then I just have this mug filled with bookmarks. It is stuffed like to the brim of bookmarks, but I like having them right by my TBR. So I just leave that right on the cart. And then I decorate my cart with like some bookish stickers. This is just a magnet from the Strand Bookstore that my friend Casey got for me. On the second shelf, I just keep all of my like book journals and reading journals. So my past reading journals. And then I also have my like Sarah J Mass notebook that I was taking notes on for the Sarah J Mass read along. And then I've got some, this is a Feyre, and then on that side a Reese magnet bookmark, but I don't like the magnet bookmarks, so I put them here and I think it's cute. And then I have a Poppy and Cass magnet that I got in an Illumicrate box, I think. And then down on the bottom is just where I keep all of my book sleeves and stuff. This little package right here is full of dust jackets from Sarah J Mass books that I've gotten alternate dust jackets for. So I just keep that there in case I ever want those dust jackets for some reason. I don't know. I just keep them. So that's where I put those. I have on the wall right above my TBR cart this Akatar art. So this was a pre-order like promotion thing, which is just the map of Prithian. Um, and then this my friend Casey made for me for my birthday once. And then she got me these little moon phase things which I think is really cute but it kind of looks like a face when I look at it but yeah once you see that you can't unsee it and then right next to that is my pin flag I don't know if this doesn't have anything to do with my bookshelves but I love my pin flag um I have a ton of Sarah J Mass pins and like other bookish pins that I absolutely love but most of them are Sarah J Mass, so <laughs> I love it so now we're getting to my wooden bookshelf. So I just have some like crystals and stuff, some amethyst and like a little bowl of like polished rocks and crystals and a little fairy and a fake plant. Um, I love fairies. You'll see a lot of those in this video because I just, I love fairies and I think they're so cute and I'm like, I collect fairy figurines, I guess. So yeah. So this first shelf is not very full. It's just like mostly, <laughs> it's just like historical fiction books. So I have this random book that I, I got from my mom. It's like really, really old, but it's kind of cool. Um, we're Dutch, so I really like this. <laughs> and then I've also got some of my favorite classics. So Fahrenheit 451. My favorite play ever by Oscar Wilde, The Importance of Being Earnest. I love this so much. And just some other historical fiction. I don't have the other two Stalking Jack the Ripper books because I really didn't like the third one. And I don't know why I don't have the fourth one, but if I was ever going to reread them, I would only reread these two. So I just have these two. And then I have an angel figurine. The next shelf is my Veronica Speedwell mystery shelf. So this series was one of my favorite things that I read in 2022 and I've got them all in paperback. I've gotten them all used but I don't know if this one is out in paperback yet but because it's like the most recent release but I'll be getting that in paperback and replacing it when it comes out. And then again I have another little fairy 
angel I think it's an angel um, figurine and then I think this is so cute these little bluebirds I think it's adorable then I've got my like thriller mystery slash horror shelf um, again I don't have very many books on this shelf so I have the first book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. That's my favorite one. I didn't really care for the last one. I like the second one just fine, but if I ever reread it, I would just reread the first book and leave it at that. So I just kept the first one. Bunny is my favorite horror book. So I've got this really pretty pink copy of that. And then I've got the Mindfuck series. Gone Girl, which is probably my favorite thriller. The Night Swim, another great thriller. And then Migrations, which isn't really a thriller, but it's got like a mystery aspect kind of to it. I don't know. There's not really a good category to put Migrations in, but I love this book so much. And oh, the cover is just stunning. And then I've got my little gnome here, Pappy, which my friend Casey got for me when we were like in high school. <laughs> So he just, he sits there, um, and I think it's, like, perfect to have him sitting right next to my copies of Spy Family because he's, like, he looks like a spy. Um, but yeah, I just have the first three volumes of Spy Family. Those are the only ones I've read so far, but I will be continuing to collect the series as I read them. And then I have my graphic novel shelf here. So I've got all of my favorite graphic novels. I've got the Harp Heart Stopper series. I've got all of my Harley Quinn graphic novels, and then I've got Saga and Giant Days. Giant Days, by far, is my favorite graphic novel series ever. I love it so, so much. If you haven't read it yet, please read it. It's so good. I do really want to replace this copy of Volume 10 because it's a library copy, like an ex-library copy that I got used, and it's a different size than the rest of them, and it's got stickers all over it, and I just want to replace it, but it's really hard to find, so I'm on the lookout for that, but yeah. Here's my graphic novel shelf. So now we are getting to my Billy bookshelves. I just wanted to show like the top of the shelves first because it's really hard to film this. Um, but yeah, I have just a couple books on the top over on the left there that are like pretty books. It's like a really cool metallic copy of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. It's got like gilded pages. The Blue Fairy book is the same. It's one of those like really cool Barnes and Noble special editions. Then I put Fangs up there because I just really like that cover and the Starless Sea, the UK edition, because again, I just really like that cover. And then over here on the right, I've got um, these Dusty Shop dust jackets from the Akatar series. And then I've also got like this garland that goes over the top. <laughs> which I think is kind of cute. It just adds a little something extra to the shelves. And then over here is just a fairy figurine that I painted <laughs> with my friend Maggie. And I don't really like how it turned out, but it's all right. And then just like a couple little knickknacks and stuff. Okay, so on my first Billy bookshelf, I have my like more magical and fantasy books. I start the shelf off with some fantasy romance. So I have this little fairy figurine over in the corner here that my mom got for me and she's just sitting on like a little rock and I think it's really cute. But then I've got the first book in the, oh, what's that called? Crowns of Nyaxia series by Carissa Broadbent, Serpents in the Wings of Night. Um, and then I've got the Jennifer L. Armentrout books. So I've got the first two of the prequel series, the Flesh and Fire series, and then the, the four Blood and Ash books. And I really like how all those books look together. And then I have the first four books in the Plated Prisoner series and these really cool hardcover editions where they kind of like flow together. Um, so when gold comes out, I'll probably, I don't know, I didn't really like glow all that much. So I might just not even get gold as a hardcover unless I really like it. We'll see. We'll see. But there those are. Then I have my paperback fantasy romance shelf. So it was, I had them all on one shelf, but obviously it was a little bit too much for one shelf and I didn't feel like laying any of them sideways. So I just, I rearranged so that I could give the them each their own shelves but I've got the first book in the Guild Hunter series it's in a mar mass market paperback Angel's Blood and it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb here because it's bright red but I really like the mass market paperback of that I don't know why like I am not a mass market paperback girly but I really like it and I'll probably get the rest of the series in mass market paperback which I don't know. I don't understand it, but I really like it. So it's cool. It's got like a vintagey look to it. 
Then I've got the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa in the original covers. Can you see me? <laughs> I've got the original covers, which I really, really like. I don't know why I'm like squatting. Anyways, um, yeah, I really like the original covers of these. I'll just show them all, apparently. They did get new additions, and I'm not quite a big fan of those. They, they're fine, but I'm happy to have these. And then I also have the Four Horsemen series. Um, it really bothers me that this two is higher. Like, why? I feel like we could have figured that out. Anyways, I'm going to move out of the frame now. Then I've got the first Shadows and Crowns book, which I will be continuing that series, and I really like the spines on this one. And then Fear the Flames, and then I've got this cute little fairy figurine. I think she's so cute. I got her from a thrift store, and I think she's adorable. And then I just have these two random ones sitting here with my little fairy figurine that I got from London, from Camden. I love her so much, but like these two, I don't know. I don't know why I have them sitting out here. I just do. I can't really explain it to you. Yes. All right, now we've got my fantasy shelf. These are like just traditional fantasies. So I've got my J. Kristoff books over there. I'll actually pop in again. Hi. Um, I'll show you. So this one I don't think is anything special. No, it's not. But... This edition of God's Grave is a signed first edition, and it has a little doodle. It's got a little crow and skull on it, which is really cute because those doodles do not happen in every single one. And then Dark Dawn, I also have a signed first edition. This one does not have a doodle. Where is it? Just the signed, but it's still cool. Then I've got Empire of the Vampire, and I loved it so much that I wanted to get the red, cool, Barnes & Noble exclusive edition because the art is just, oh, stunning. Then I've got the Winter Night Trilogy. I have them all in hardcover, but honestly, I want them in paperback. <laughs> I don't know why, so I saw the Winter of the Witch at a thrift store for really cheap on, in the paperback, and I was like, ooh. I kind of like that. So now I'm on the hunt when I'm thrifting for the other two books. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Normally I like having my fantasy in hardcover, but I, for some reason I'm just really, really vibing paperbacks lately. So here we are. Then I've got the Witchlands series by Susan Dennard. Um, again, why did we have to switch these? Like put the title down here and put her name up there. Why? why it just looks so weird and then like this is just chilling here like you've got all these faces and then oh my god don't even get me started then i've got my copies of the six of crows duology and then the darker shades of magic series which i love this next shelf i call my whimsical shelf because most of these if not all of these yes all of these stories just have a very like whimsical feel to them so I've got all of the Wayward Children series, I've got A Spindle Splintered, I've got the Aaron Morgenstern books, Addie LaRue, Midnight Neverwood, the Once Upon a Broken Heart series, which I have the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition, but the cover is not the exclusive edition, but like under the dust jacket is. I got this without a dust jacket because I got it used but I wanted a dust jacket, so I got a dust jacket. You can't really tell that it's not the right dust jacket when it's in here. And then this one is, ooh, they're so pretty. And then it's signed. And I've got my Strange the Dreamer duology. One of my favorite books of all time is Strange the Dreamer, and I want to do a reread soon. I love it so much. I've got my two TJ Klune books. I love them side by side with the little houses on the spine. I think it's so cute. Then I have The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. This is one of my favorite middle grade books ever, and I drew in it. I love it so much. And then I have a couple witchy romances. Face the Fire is actually the third book in this Nora Roberts series called Three Sisters Island. 
but I didn't really like the first two but I loved the third one so I just kept the third one then I've got my like YA fantasy and witchy books on this shelf here so I've got the Folk of the Air series the Kingdom of the Wicked series I ordered a special edition copy of Kingdom of the Feared so it doesn't have like the map like the other ones do and I kind of miss that but it does have this which is kind of cool but I did not really like this book I my opinion for it has slowly slowly gone down the longer that I've sat with it and now I just I don't want to talk about it there's the these hollow vows series belladonna which is so pretty underneath the dust jacket like first of all the end pages are really cool but I love oh my god look at that I love when publishers do that twin crowns and then my two Rachel Griffin books which I really really love and I have the first editions of those two so they have like a really cool like naked hardcover oh that's so pretty and then wild is the witch look at this cover oh and I have an art print I think that was from the pre-order so pretty and I have the first book in the Raven Cycle series I really did enjoy that series but if I ever did reread it I would just reread the first one and leave it at that but I did find this one signed and I didn't know it was signed when I got it which is kind of cool and then another witchy book okay then on the bottom I have a little bit of a kind of dark academia theme <laughs> on the bottom here so I've got the two ninth house books I've got the Alice six um the Legendborn series vicious and vengeful I've got middle game oh that book is so good and then seasonal fears which is actually an arc that I won in a goodreads giveaway so that's pretty cool and then gallant cute little candle little ray bobblehead from star wars and then my copy of daughter of the moon goddess and the girl who fell beneath the sea which are two books that i got when i was in london and they're really really pretty i don't really know what to categorize these as they're just kind of like randomly sitting there so i don't know they're just chilling then we've got the famous Sarah J Mass shelves. So I showed you the dusty shop dust jackets on the top and then I have my throne of glass books over here. So I've got two <laughs> of the original paperbacks. Um, I saw them at a thrift store and I was like, I, do I need these? No, but like I just wanted to buy them. I don't know. I have that. I don't know. I have that cute little candle that says The Road to Terracin, which I got in like a little subscription box. I think it was for the Mass Readathon. Then I have the Collector's Edition of Throne of Glass, and I have a little pop socket that fell off my phone, but it says Rattle the Stars, and I wanted to keep it, so I just have it sitting there. Then I have my annotated copies of the Throne of Glass series. I have a special edition of Kingdom of Ash, which is why the like face is facing out. And then a first edition of Throne of Glass, which is really rare. I'm going to do a more in-depth tour of my Sarah J Mass books because I feel like that could be its whole own video. So I'm going to do a tour of that like that whole shelf another time but I'll just kind of breeze through these so I have the Akatar coloring book I have an arc of Akatar the collector's edition and then just multiple copies of all the books okay so I have my annotated edition where it's like extremely annotated and defaced I have a whole video flipping through that because it's my favorite book of all time and then some other special editions of the series this is a um, alternate dust jacket that's like in the style of the original dust jackets so is this one it's kind of got a glare on it a little bit but there's Nesta then I have my a touch of magic designs dust jackets I love them they're gorgeous and they're such good quality and then the black paperback of a court of silver flames I have an Akatara coloring book in the back there that I got from my friend Cami. And then I'm going to try to do a close-up without having, oh god, the glare. Okay, well, neat. <laughs> um, so I have this Valkyrie art print that I got from Lachlan for Christmas. And I have taped her little note up here because, oh, I just love her so much. It's so cute. But yeah, I love that art print so much. 
Then I've got my Crescent City books. So I have some alternate dust jackets that I got from my mom for Christmas. I have the House of Sky and Breath tour edition. I do have the, uh, no, not House of, A Court of Silver Flames tour edition, but I used it for one of my alternate dust jackets. So it's in there somewhere. It's just hiding. Then I got this little um, Crescent City like flower pot, basically. It looks like a mug, but it's not a mug. Um, but it's got Bryce on it. And so I'm using it as a bookmark jar for all of my Sarah J Mass themed bookmarks. My two annotated copies of House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath, the A Touch of Magic Designs Crescent City dust jackets. And then I think this is A Million World Designs dust jackets that I got off of Etsy. I've got my Nerdy Ink Akatar dust jackets and then the original, well not the original dust jackets, but like the new dust jackets for the series. I just have like an extra copy of each of them because I do like the new dust jackets. I mean, I prefer the originals, but I gotta have a complete set. Then I've got a couple um, Akatar themed candles. So I have a House of Wind one, which I got in some subscription box years ago, and I've never burned it because I love it so much. And then I have a little Valeris Nights candle. And then I've got that Feyre and Reese like little art in the back, which is actually a coaster that Brandon made. <laughs> he just like printed off some fan art and like made it. So I just have it propped up because I think it's so cute. And then I have my two editions of Catwoman. Both of them are signed. And then down on the bottom here, I have my Nerdy Ink Throne of Glass dust jackets, which they're so pretty. The spines, I cannot. And I love them like stacked on the sides like that. It's so pretty. This set is for my A Touch of Magic Designs Throne of Glass dust jackets, which I have ordered and I just got the notification that they are like shipped and on their way. So I have an extra set for that and I just like these ones are for other <laughs> other dust jackets that I will eventually be getting. So anytime I see them on Pango Books for really cheap, I just buy them. So there you have it. Okay, so up on the top there, I have my um, Zodiac Academy books. I've got all of them except the eighth book, which I will be reading eventually. If you don't know, I was absolutely obsessed with that series last year and I do still really love it and I still really want to get to the new book. But I know that some of the characters from this series, The Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac, have points of view in the eighth book. So I want to read that series first. There's four more books left and then I'll get to the eighth one. So I'll be collecting them slowly as I read them, but there are those. Then I just have over on the side here some lavender that I, I have a lavender plant outside. So when I had to prune them, I just clipped it and then dried them out and I think it's cute. <laughs> Then we've got my romance shelf. So uh, most of these are like some of my favorite romances of all time. The Spanish Love Deception. I've got a few Mariana Zapata books. There are still some that I need to read yet. Like I really want to get to All Roads Lead here. So hopefully that'll be a fave um, and I can add that to my shelf. A couple other random romances. Oh, the mistletoe motive. So good. Some Tessa Bailey books, some Allie Hazelwood books, my Emily Henry books, the Written in the Stars series, which I absolutely adore. This little romance candle, which obviously put that on my romance shelf. So cute. Then I have what I call my emotional romance shelf. So all of these are like, they are romances, but they're kind of like more emotional. I don't know. Did I need to explain that? No. Why did I even try? So I have, um, yeah, some Colleen Hoover books. Um, some second chance romances, the Magnolia Parks universe books, which, oh my god, I love them. And look at those spines, they're so gorgeous. And then I just have a little Taylor Swift candle because, of course, I do. And then I have this little figurine up. She's not a fairy or an angel, she's just a girl with a basket of flowers, and I think it's so cute. Then I have my spicier romance shelf. I mean, some of the books in my other romance shelf are pretty spicy, but this is like darker spicy I guess so I've got all of my Penelope Douglas books I've got pretty much every single Penelope Douglas book that they've ever published except for one which is Misconduct which I DNF'd I really did not like that one but everything else from Penelope Douglas I've either given four or five stars I really really love their writing so I've got all of their books besides the one I've got my Sophie Lark books the Nashville Neighborhood books yeah just like you know my spicier, spicier romance shelf, I guess. 
Then down here, I don't really know what this shelf is. It's kind of a little bit random. So I've got some Taylor Jenkins Reid books. I do really love Daisy Jones and the Six, but I prefer that on audio. So I don't have a physical copy of that one. I've got my Frederick Bachman books, some emotional books like normal people, <laughs> and then um, some like college coming of age kind of books like Loveless and Fangirl. I don't really know where else to put those because they're not really romances. So I just threw them on this shelf. And then on the right are all of my nonfiction books. I've got a couple memoirs. I've Mostly I've got like field guides. I don't know why. I just really love them. I have a field guide to butterflies and moths, birds of North America, a bird feeder handbook, which oh my god, I love. A couple books about trees, a couple books about the night sky and like stars and constellations and stuff. Some books about astrology and tarot and then a poetry book. So yeah. That's my little nonfiction section. And then my very last shelf over here is my nostalgia shelf. So most of these are books that I read in high school. I do have the Harry Potter series. I've got my Twilight books, which I was absolutely obsessed with Twilight when I was in high school. I, man, I wish I still had some of the stuff that I had back then. Like I had all the t-shirts, all the sweatshirts, all the posters. I had everything, man. Also The Host by Stephanie Meyer. The Hunger Games series. I have a little um, Mockingjay pin, which I just have sitting on top of them. My high school English teacher gave that to me because she knew how much I loved the Hunger Games series, and I thought that was pretty cute. And then the Divergent series, and then I have a couple books on the end there that are like from literally from my childhood. So the one, the purple book, is from my mom. She gave me when I graduated high school, and it's like all about mothers and daughters. And then I have a copy of The Little Match Girl, which my grandma used to read to me when I was a tiny, tiny little tot. My favorite Magic Treehouse book, which is Pirates Past Noon. And then I have a little, I think it's a little golden book it's called. It's called The Three Little Kittens. Um, and yeah, that's another one that like my great grandparents read to me when I was like literally a baby. So yeah, they're just nostalgic books. So there you have it. That is my little bookshelf tour. I've expanded quite a bit, I think, since the last one. I only had two shelves the last time I did a bookshelf tour, so I figured I would do an updated one for the year. I really love my shelves, and I love how they look, and I just... Oh. I just sometimes come in here to look at them because they're just, they bring me so much joy. So yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.